Hey, what's up guys, it's Foster. And in this video, I've got a whole bunch of OEM aero bits that we're gonna be putting on our VBWX. It's really gonna help make the car look the part. I think slowly over time, we've really transformed this thing. So the sports grill we've added, and then we actually added some fog light bezels pretty recently. So we've got a whole gloss black theme going. And so that's why I want to stick with the OEM lip on this installation. So this is gonna make the car look a little bit lower, just give it a more aggressive look. So I'm gonna be installing this in this video. Then I've also got some OEM STI side skirts that I'm gonna be installing that are also gloss black, so it's gonna help tie that gloss black throughout the car. And then last but not least, I'm gonna lower the car and adjust the stance. So just make sure you stay tuned until the end of this video because this car is gonna be completely transformed. One thing I really love about installing OEM Aero is just how perfect the fitment is. As you can see, I installed a couple pop clips just to hold everything in place and make sure that everything's lined up. And there are still a couple holes I'm gonna have to drill, but as you can tell, my OEM bumper already has the little holes where I'm gonna have to drill at, so I don't have to be worried about measuring or making sure anything's in the right spot. It's all gonna be exactly where it needs to be. So I'm gonna go grab a drill bit, see what size fits that hole, and then we can get started. So the slip actually does come with instructions, but they are a little bit complicated for really what the project is. So you'll see here they've got a bunch of templates for you to use, and this is just going to tell you where to drill. You can go this route if you want using the templates, or you can do what I did. It's already got pre-marked locations that you can drill at. Then moving over to here, there's another template. This is template B that you have to use to determine where to put your felt tape. Uh, the lip comes with like some felt tape so that it won't rub and squeak when you're driving around. Uh, they call it non-woven fabric tape or something very Japanese sounding like that. But basically you install these two templates and then it's gonna tell you where to put your tape. There's a piece that goes right here, piece that goes in the middle and then a piece on the right. Um, so I would recommend doing that step. So now that we've got all these steps complete, I'm gonna pull the lip off the car so we can peel the backer off the 3M and then we can install it for the final time. Okay, we got the lip fully installed. Just real quick, I'll show you all the different hardware I use for the installation in case you guys are trying this project yourself. And it was pretty easy in the end. It just took a couple steps to get there, um, but I do feel like the lip is nice and secure. It's definitely not going anywhere. And I really like the hardware that they use on this OEM lip kit. So I'm pretty confident that it's gonna have good fitment, but why don't we go ahead and get the car on the ground and then we'll see how it looks. I'm actually surprised how much better the VBWX looks with that front lip on it. The car really should have come this way, but I guess that's kind of the point that Subaru makes you buy some more parts out of their catalog. But I think really to complete the look, we're gonna need some side skirts as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. So check it out, I've got the paper templates taped in place on the side skirts. And similar to the front lip, this is gonna tell us exactly where to drill our hole. So a really helpful way to make sure that you get your side skirts aligned properly. 
And then once we get the side skirts loosely in place, then we're gonna be able to mark the rest of the holes for the rest of the hardware. So Subaru includes these little rubber well nuts that we're gonna to use to secure the rest of the side skirt. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use a permanent marker and I'm gonna just mark in the center of all these holes and that way we're gonna know where to drill so that we can install our well nuts. So I ran out of time yesterday to get the side skirt project finished up on the WRX, but I'll show you guys where I'm at. I've got all the well nuts installed on the side skirts, as you can see. So I'm pretty much ready to go ahead and peel the backer off the double-sided tape, and then we can start installing the hardware. Now that I'm seeing the Deborah X on the ground with all the mods that we installed on this video, I'm absolutely loving the way that the car looks. Over time, we've really transformed this car with that sport grille and the fog lights and now the gloss black front lip. I think it looks really great all together. But what do you guys think about it? I know some of you don't really like the looks of the VB WX, but I do think when you add on some of these accessories like we have and you lower it and you put some wheels on it, I think these cars actually look really great. With that said, if you guys do want to pick up any of the parts that you saw in this video, I'll make sure I put links in the description down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.